Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're winding down with the Revenge uh, R Rise of the Beast reviews. And finally, I was able to get my hands on uh, the Smash Change Three Step Rhinox figure. Uh, I got this from Amazon. I think it's been available overseas for about a month. I think Amazon's had it for a few weeks. I was just able to get it now. I'm not sure if this has been being found in retail, but uh, to be honest with you, Amazon is the only retailer that I know has it in stock. Uh, in ter well, in terms of mass retailers, the smaller retail boutique retailers, uh, they do, but you know, you're paying like double, almost double and a half. Uh, than what the retail price is. Let me just say right off the bat, I think Rhinox is the best out of the uh, those smash changers we've got. Now, Prime and Scourge are repaints, retools of each other, but it's, and it's the same mechanism. Primal's fantastic, but I think Rhinox just does it a little bit better. So really, it's the beasts who are the real stars of this line. Um, as you can see, we starting off in Rhino mode. Very nice. Uh, you've got that um, organic tech, uh, technological look to it, uh, much like in the film. Different shades of gray and silver with a little bit of that bronze copper worked in. Um, really not much uh, there to... Uh, uh, to the beast mode, I mean, the tail flops around a little. Now, to, to initiate the transformation, the first thing you want to do is you're going to push in on the head here, and that will bring uh, the body up. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this camera out so we can see it all the way here. I do apologize, you can see the sides of the light box. So there's that. And then you're supposed to, well, the instructions show you smashing down. Uh, twice. As I said with the uh, flip changers, you don't have to be that rough. Just a gentle push once. Well, okay, glad it did that. In this case, um, you can actually get it where it will do it all in one. Um, so there is that. But now, now that we're in, ro we're in robot mode, let me just point out the figure has elbows. So that's something that it's you know, Optimus Prime had and now this has, as well as, it's very slight, but you can rotate the head. So that means you can get some uh, expression out of it. Very nice uh, detail there on the face. Sunken in green eyes. I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but it looks like the movie version of Ronix. Actually, this looks more like what that mainline Voyager did. Now, besides all that, there's one thing a little bit more. The Rhino head here comes detached in the packaging. So we can remove it from here, just like so, and you'll notice on the forearms, the front of the Rhino feet, there are these little slots. There's a tab right there. Pop it in, and yeah, has a weapon, has a shield. So this is really going that much further beyond the simple three-step changer. I mean, if you remember, Primal was pretty much very locked. Um, didn't even have a head swivel. So with this, at least you have that little bit of expression. And, I, and, and yeah, it's very slight. Really can only go to uh, my right, the figure's left, more than the, the other way. But just that slight movement helps, really does bring out a bit of uh, expression to the figure. Now to, go, now to reset, if you did go and remove the rhino head, uh, take it off the forearm. There's a tab right here that's going to slot in. You want to slide this so that it goes into that gray hinge piece, which are actually the rhino's ears. Um, for right now, straighten the arms out. And the first step is flip up the robot head with the, uh, will be the bottom of the rhino jaw till it stops in place. Then slide up the backpack like so. Bring the shoulders in till they snap into place and then bring the arms forward. Finally, bend the whole thing over 
and the legs will then lock into place there. At this point, bend the elbow slightly till you get the uh, rhino feet on the floor, and there you go. You have uh, it back in the beast mode. So let's do it one more time. Up like that, and then press down. Once. Okay, I get it. Once. Twice. There you go. My, my finger was in the way in the back there. Like I said, really fun. Uh, these I enjoy these as a desk toy. Probably a little bit more than the one-step chambers. Just because they're a little bit bigger, there's a little more to fiddle with. But they are quite enjoyable. And, okay, that time it went down all the way. And like I said, I mean, I mean, they're fun. Yes, these are meant for smaller hands, younger hands. But I think uh, as an adult collector, there is something there to enjoy. Like I said, desk toy, a uh, little something to fiddle with. And, well, actually, most of you should have been able to find the mainline Voyager Rhinox. Um, that was actually easier to find, from what I understand, than the first wave figures. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's really about all I can say. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I think this is the best three-step changer that we've gotten. Um, definitely, it's worth the purchase. Um, I got it off of Amazon. Now, it's not on places like Target or Walmart.com. It is available on eBay from Hasbro Toy Shop for retail price. You might be able to find it in stores. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm a bad judge of things just because in my area, the um, distribution is always a little off. Uh, like, I really have not seen anything past those first wave releases of the weaponizers, Beast Combiners, Battle Changers, The Mass. So, uh, yeah. You might, so you might have luck, but better luck than I do. But like I said, it's worth the purchase. If you want to chance it and wait for a sale, uh, def, this retails for about $33.99. So $10 cheaper, a lot better. Um, I actually feel a little more comfortable recommending it at that price point. Um, but then again, you run the risk since this is a later release and they're transitioning away from Rise of the Beast, uh, you might have a hard time finding it. So there's that. Now, to, I used a gift card, so I felt a little bit better purchasing it, um, you know, off of Amazon, took some of the edge off. So a lot of decisions there have to be made. But all in all, it's a solid figure. And like I said, the best Smash Changer that they've done. So, this is your old pal Chuck. If you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. It does help with the algorithms. I have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. You know the spiel, but as I always say, if you can't swing the dollar a month, $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Uh, Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. But if you really also want to help, the big thing that you can do is uh, get the word out about my videos. Share them on other forums and bulletin boards and bulletin boards. Oy, that's like that's like early 90s. But uh, Facebook groups, get the word out. Submit them as news, especially when it's something that really hasn't been seen before. Um, that will help. I mean, all of it helps um, because, you know, small reviewers like me have to compete against the bigger guys who get the figures early. And that's sometimes a lot of that's tough, especially when dealing with uh, sites and groups, what have you, that have very narrow definitions of what is news. And I really think reviews are news bringing the figures to you because that helps you make a purchase decision which is what I'm trying to do. But that's about it. Once again, this is your old pal Chuck for Smash Changer Rhinox. We will see you next time.